This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mombonu. President Uhuru Kenyatta and DP William Ruto could be headed for a bitter political combat with the former confessing that his first term was rocked by massive graft. Although the president did not explicitly mention Ruto, it was during the same meeting that he declared he would back a NASA candidate to succeed him, knocking off the DP from his succession matrix. The declaration seemed to have rubbed Ruto the wrong way, with the DP taking on Twitter to rant, accusing the president of betrayal and signaling officially quitting the Jubilee party. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has dismissed any political links to Deputy President William Ruto as questions emerge on his 2022 political game plan. However, a section of the DP's allies insist Muturi is their man and they will persuade him to be Ruto's running mate. Speaking to the star, Muturi said he is his own man. However, he did not give details about his political future and whether he will be running for the presidency. Over the last few days, questions have emerged why non-Ruto backers, especially from Mount Kenya East, were championing Muturi's candidature. The electoral body is planning to deploy multiple servers for transmission of results to the tallying center during next year's polls. Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission IEBC Chair Wafula Chebukati said various stakeholders, among them the media, will be granted access to the servers to enhance transparency, accuracy and verification of results. During the hearing of the 2017 presidential election petition at the Supreme Court, the IEBC declined to open its servers despite court orders. The failure by the IEBC to to open the servers was among the reasons the Supreme Court nullified the August 8, 2017 presidential election results. Kenya has failed to have India allow COVID-19 vaccine exports to African countries which are battling a new wave of infections. The exports were discussed during a three-day visit to Kenya by India's Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Subramanian Jaishankar, which ended on Monday. The two countries, however, agreed on a new multi-billion deal for joint manufacturing of medicines. The pharmaceutical powerhouse of the world stopped all exports of the COVID shield. The AstraZeneca vaccine manufactured there in April after infections in the country rose sharply. And the Education Ministry has ruled out possibility of shutting down schools in the wake of the anticipated fourth wave of COVID-19. Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha on Tuesday said the country could not afford to shut down schools amid the recovery of time lost in the previous shutter. He spoke during the release of the Form 1 placement results at the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development. The surge in infections has seen the government close down learning institutions twice to stem the spread of the virus. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash.